A shooting rang out as police say the suspects targeted their victims at a gas station in Philadelphia's East Mount Airy section. Greetings fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215 and right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today we're going to be doing a driving tour of West Mount Airy. Now there's going to be some conflicting information when we go over stats and whatnot because West Mount Airy is not separately defined via Google from East Mount Airy. They just compile all of the stats and majority of the information as Mount Airy in its whole. However, I've captured East Mount Airy several times and right now I want to focus on West Mount Airy, which is a nicer looking area with larger homes. So we're going to take a drive through here. I'm traveling about 24 miles per hour. I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I have a vehicle behind me who wishes to go faster. So I'm going to pull out of the way and allow them to go by. We're going to merge back into traffic. We're now approaching McCullum. Let's see if we can make a right hand turn coming up here. Let's make this right hand turn on the 6700 block of McCollum. McCollum. I think that's the proper way to say it. Mick as in Mick Chicken. Mick Callum. So as I drive, feel free to explore with your eyes, look around, look at the property, look at the size, look at the difference, look at the lawns, check out the style and the architecture of some of these buildings. So West Mount Airy is a neighborhood in Northwest Philadelphia. We're at Westview Ave and McCallum. McCallum, I'm sorry, I had to think about how to say that. It doesn't roll off the tongue as easy as you would think it would. We're making a right-hand turn on Westview Ave, traveling about idle speed, I would say a mile or two per hour. So West Mount Airy has a population of 12,388 residents. It is considered to be one of the best places to live in Pennsylvania. It offers residents an urban suburban feel. And as you can see, it's dense enough to be considered urban, but the layout is vegetated enough to be considered suburban. Most residents in this area own their homes as of April 15th, 2018. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn. This is the road that we started on. However, I'm going to take a look at some more of these side blocks. And by going the opposite way, you can see some of these properties. Be safe in Mount Airy, slow down. That's what the little yellow signs say on our left and our right-hand side. There's little signs, little picket signs that are posted into the ground. You see the yellow signs? It says, love Mount Airy, slow down. So that goes to show you what type of community engagement they get here. They want people to respect and obey the law for safety reasons. We're at Carpenter Lane and Lincoln Drive. Let's make this right-hand turn on Carpenter Lane. Check out the house on the corner right there in front of us. You see that? You see that one? I'm sorry, I do have a vehicle behind me. Let me pull over. I'm gonna allow them to go behind us because in Philadelphia, if, if you're not familiar with the driving conditions, people will tail you. They will tail you as if you were towing them. <laughs> yo, they will tail you, yo. Just to get to the next stop sign. And don't matter how prestigious their neighborhood is, everyone's in a rush to get somewhere. All right, we're approaching Emlyn Street, Emlyn. We also have the Septa Chestnut Hill West Line in front of us, the Carpenter Station. I'm gonna make a left though. We're gonna try to stay within this vicinity. So Mount Airy is bounded on the Northwest by Krishim Valley, which is a part of Fairmount Park. Beyond this lies Chestnut Hill. Chestnut Hill is one of the neighboring neighborhoods. On the West side is Wissahickon Gorge, which is also a part of Fairmont Park. 
beyond which lies Roxborough and Maniunk. Also, Germantown borders the southeast of Mount Airy, and Stenton Avenue borders the northeast. Let's make this left-hand turn on Sedgwick. You can see the nice organized trash bags on our right, even leaf bags. It goes to show you. I'm sorry, in the hood, we barely got money for trash bags to throw away trash. We've really not invested in bags to throw away leaves. <laughs> Mother nature gonna have to decompose that stuff, baby. I be feeling like a sucker every time I buy toilet paper, every time I buy trash bags, every time I buy stuff that's disposable. I'm like, oh man, this is gonna get thrown out anyway. <laughs> They're like, Tune, you telling us you don't use toilet paper? I didn't say I don't use toilet paper. I just said I be feeling like a sucker. Let me find out I need to receive some inspiration from France and install one of those, uh, those uh, what are those little toilet lavatory thingies that sprinkle water back onto your bum bums? <laughs> Two saying bum bums. Yo, what's up with this traffic? Like nobody's letting us through. See, sometimes you can't wait for people. You gotta take it. You can't wait for the perfect opportunity. You just gotta take it. You gotta snatch it. Snatch it by the, there you go, by the gonads. There you go. So what's interesting is the USPS, which is the United States Postal Service, does not officially correlate neighborhood names to Philadelphia zip code, each of which is Philadelphia or Phila. However, the 191-19 zip code is almost entirely coterminous with the cultural consensus boundaries of Mount Airy, if you were able to comprehend that bulk of words. <laughs> We have Sedgwick Gardens on our left. We have Sedgwick and McCallum. McCallum Street. I will be making a right-hand turn. I'm going to allow this gentleman to pass us because I'm in no rush. I would rather have them in front of me than behind me because then they'll be rushing me. So now we have some more traditional Philadelphia small row home style houses for rent on our right-hand side. Two bedroom for rent. So what's interesting is there is no official boundary between Mount Erie and Germantown. The most common consensus is that Johnson Street is the de facto boundary. However, the West Mount Erie neighborhood neighbors and East Mount Erie neighbors organizations consider the people behind me are beeping me out of the way. I do apologize about that interruption, ladies and gentlemen. You would think you would get to a nicer area, there would be more patience. Considering how wide these streets are, technically, I could be right here cruising and you got all of this other space to go around me. Wouldn't we all agree? But no, they would rather be. Hey, check out this, this little row home right here. Check out this little house right here. That's, that's a nice little house, right? Nice little house, they got baby blue shutters. I'm not really a big fan of baby blue, but guess what? That's nice. You can see the houses on my right hand side. These are a lot smaller than the first ones we saw. So a little bit of history of this area. William Allen, a prominent Philadelphia merchant and chief justice of the province of Pennsylvania, created his summer estate and mansion on Germantown Avenue at Allen's Lane in the year 1750. And the area eventually took the building's name Mount Airy as its own. So it's actually spelled air, like air, like you're breathing air, A-I-R-Y, airy, but I mean, it depends how you say it or your accent. It kind of sounds like I'm saying Mount Erie, like Erie in Torresdale or whatever, but no, it's not Erie, it's airy, Mount Airy, but I guess it all depends on how you say it. I, I just say Mount Erie, Mount, Mount Airy, <laughs> Mount Airy, it's weird. But well, you can see the streets are very wide. Plenty of trees, plenty of trees, an overabundance of trees. We're approaching Sherman Street to our left and South Mount Pleasant Road to our right. We can make a right or we can go left. I think I'm gonna make a right. For some reason, right is drawing me in. 
there's more vegetation well what used to be vegetation there's there's more i should say um woodwork <laughs> mother nature's wood all on our left hand side So the demographics of this neighborhood, as of the year 2010 United States Census, Mount Airy had 27,035 residents. There were 11,934 households and 6,636 families. 62.5% of the residents were black or African American. 31.7% of the residents were white slash Caucasian. We're turning right on Marion Lane, the 7,000 block of Marion Lane. This looks like a no outlet, but it's okay. I want to show you guys what this no outlet looks like so you guys know these areas exist. I really like that Jeep right there. You see that Jeep? I'm a big fan of Jeeps. I would love to own a 1988 Jeep one day. Five speed, a Jeep Wrangler. That'll be awesome. One day, one day. Along with my other huge uh, desirable list of, of cars that I want to own. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of cars that I would like to own one day and just add them to my collection. Five point eight percent of the residents were from all other races or two or more races. Let's make this right hand turn and continue traveling where we originally were traveling. So racial integration. Each of these bullet points I'm touching base on, you guys can learn more about it via the World Wide Web. We're at Green Street. Let's continue traveling forward. We can take a look at the properties. This area is recognized by many civil rights groups as one of the first successfully integrated neighborhoods in America. Mount Airy residents organized to resist block busting, panic selling, and redlining, especially during the period from the late 1950s to the early 1970s when those practices were prevalent. I think that was around the white flight era. It continues to be a well-balanced neighborhood and was cited in Oprah Winfrey's O Magazine for its racial diversity and neighborhood appeal. The community has also been recognized by the US News and World Report for racial harmony and balance. How do you like those apples, 1950s? Say no. <laughs> we're at Mc. Callum, Mick Callum. You have to really enunciate the word. These houses look pretty nice. Simple, but nice. So there's plenty of notable residents from this area, ladies and gentlemen. So many from baseball players, cartoonists, inventors, entrepreneurs. PhDs, uh, professors, educators of the deaf, artists and illustrators, jazz musicians, playwriters, baseball managers and owners, jazz guitarists, actors. Wow, Bob Saget, rest in peace, Mr. Bob Saget. I watched you growing up on uh, Full House. Wow, so Bob Saget called this place home before. Bob Saget. And so many more. You guys can look up that list via Wikipedia. There's also many notable institutions in the area, such as, but not limited to, the Lutheran Seminary at Philadelphia and the Sedgwick Theater, which is a 1920s Art Deco movie theater. And it's one of the few remaining in Philadelphia. Let's make this right on Cherokee Street. Now, remember earlier I said there's gonna be some conflicting information uh, when it comes to West and East Mount Airy. When it comes to crime stats, they lump the entire Mount Airy into one stat. So Mount Airy receives, based on aerialvibes.com, a whopping F rating for crime. Total crime is 16% above the national average. Violent crime is 74% above the national average. Property crime is 5% above the national average. Let's make this left hand turn on West Glen Echo Road. Who remembers the name brand Echo? I used to wear Echo Unlimited when I was a youngster. Key findings show that in Mount Airy, you have a one in 37 chance of becoming a victim of crime. Mount Airy is safer than 50% of the cities in Pennsylvania. And you can find 
dozens upon dozens of news articles related to shootings in the Mount Airy neighborhood.